evening all. Yes, still not dead. Dead game. Uh, dead dead YouTuber? Hopefully not. Um, we'll, we'll see. I really didn't think I'd do any more videos, but um, I have a week off, would you believe? So I thought, let's have a look at some of the old dust footage, memories, cup of tea, bit of cake, cheeky piece of cake, perchance. And um, I just sat there and thought, do you know what? Let's have a look. Let's have a look and uh, just remind myself of how how good this game was and lo and behold I found this match this match is brilliant because there's loads of orbitals huge amounts of war points it was an eight man gang and um, it was just a really good fight killed loads of tanks in this one couldn't tell you why it was just um, rather fun it's a funny old time let's get all the cliches out see the thing is and uh, be, the problem yeah all these all these cliches that I keep saying um, yeah it's been a while since I did a video I actually didn't really plan on doing any more videos um, I actually didn't plan on any playing more games, would you believe? I know, that sounds a, that's a strange thought, really, isn't it? I, um, I decided that, do you know what? I'm done with everything. It wasn't an emotional decision. It was just, quite frankly, a thing to say. You know, I enjoyed Dust. I was a Dust channel. And um, it's a sad thing that it's gone. So why am I sat here now doing another video? Well, let's talk about that. My, uh, my love of um, CCP has been compounded last night by the fact that Iceland just beat uh, England 2-1. And um, I'm not a particularly big England fan at the moment, only because I'm very sore in the butt area over the Brexit thing, which I'm not going to bore you with. If you don't know what Brexit is, no, it's not a type of coffee or a new car from Kia. It's just one of these um, annoying things where democracy doesn't work. No, I'm kidding. Of course it does. But <laughs> it just makes me kind of smile that... Um, it's just one of these really amazing situations that you can only imagine you just would never think would happen, like Hitler coming to power or Nigel Farage being voted into Parliament. You could just imagine that these would be terrible, terrible things for the world in general. Um, thankfully, Farage has not got into uh, power yet, but um, it's only a matter of time. And um, me being a, an annoying right wing, well, left wing liberal, um, I do vote Conservative, but I am actually more of a Labour supporter than ever, I guess. So there you go. So that's an interesting diatribe of why I'm doing another video. I think I'm just very kind of emotionally involved with everything at the moment. And um, I miss Dust, actually. And let, let me just explain. I sat there. I, I kicked the cat. I drop kicked her out of the... No, I'm kidding. Of course, I didn't do that. I got pretty fed up with the whole... Um, just everything at the moment. Brexit is a nightmare for this country, which I won't go into. You know, post in the comments if you're actually interested in my thoughts here, because I would rather not... <clears throat> as I clear my throat, I'd rather not do a Brexit video, because it's just one of those things. You have to deal with it. <clears throat> what I'm kind of more concerned about is um, there's no release anymore with dust. Oh, by the way, watch this. Three tanks, one knobhead with a plasma cannon. This is gorgeous. This, this, this is why this match in, in particular came to me as I was sat there all frustrated and angry, thinking, God, I miss dust, that, that kind of release of, of stress and anger. And then I remember this fight, this fight, me versus three tanks, and I win, what? And it's amazing, this is such a fun mat round. This, this was one of the very last rounds ever played. And it just seemed that everybody brought their A game and it was gorgeous to behold. It was fantastic. And this just just it just jumped into my mind as I'm sat there on a very busy commute train home, sitting next to someone who let's let's not mix words, stank of shit. And I'm basically sitting there a Apologies for swearing, by the way. I mean, they did. They, it was as if they had not only soiled themselves before they got onto the carriage, it was like they had actually then smooshed it around inside their trousers. I didn't understand what was going on. Um, so anyway, so I just sort of sat there and thought, God, you know, get home. Looking forward to my, my Findus meal for one, lonely bastard range. And I just thought, do you know what? It used to be at times like this that I would just switch on the PS3 and play dust and do you know what i miss it already i miss it massively i miss it significantly i miss it like the lover that met in paris when the lo the summer was long and the winter was short and <laughs> i do i really miss this game and i've got to admit all of the stresses and strains and trials and tribulations of life you have to have a release and i've said this many times look at that double plasmid what a shot this is one of the things that I just think right now, you need to have something to release in your life. And yes, there's hundreds of games out there. There's hundreds of things you can do. But I just think, you know, when I saw how Iceland performed last night, let me just let me just go into this because Iceland are not the best footballing nation in the world and they just kick the shit out of England. 
because they showed they had a system. And everybody has to have a system in life. And let me explain. So they have, they defend, and they basically then look for a quick counter, but they defend, that's their system. Um, you know, their culture, their you know, mantra is all based upon, um, you know, just their, their entire way of living permeates everything they do. Strong defense, strong attack, blah, blah. And I think that's one thing that I feel that I'm completely missing now is, is a, a, a system, a routine, a regime. And I, I miss it so much that I've, I've kind of got to the point where I'm thinking, you know, games like this are not only just entertainment, they are fabric that you kind of wrap yourself up in to kind of combat pretty shitty situations in life. And I'm not saying I have a bad life at all. Um, 1% in fact, but there we go. <laughs> I actually have a pretty good life. But this is one of these things where you just say to yourself, you know, you've got to have something in life that is just bigger and better than um, than just who you are, some of your parts. And I think, you know, I'm not saying dust is part of a, an important regime of, of, you know, of settling and whatever. For me, it just feels that, um, you know, I miss dust and I feel like it has left a hole in my life. And let me tell you about something because it's interesting, you know, this kind of, um, you know, love of Iceland that I have, and I'm, I don't know where it comes from. I've been, I visited Iceland, I think five times in my life now. And they are a wonderful country and they are certainly to be celebrated. But I think it's one of these things where, you know, I kind of believe in CCP. I wouldn't do videos if I didn't, I guess. I'm very critical of them, but I think that's my right to be because I'm a customer of theirs. But I do kind of miss um, everything about the, the dust experience. And I do hope that, you know, eventually we'll get Project Nova. I am confident of that and I do hope that's coming soon. But there we go. So... You know, it's a funny thing. I, I know it's odd to do a video of a game that's dead that you can't really play anymore, or is it? Is that shameless YouTube whoring? I don't know, but um, part of me just feels at the moment that, to be honest, ugh, who cares? You know what I mean? It's 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 one of these things that I miss, and I just I, I thought I'd do a video of it because hey, I took a few days off. Why not? So let's talk about the channel. I mean, we've not done much. We've not done anything, in fact, but. Um, post in the comments. I mean, if you're interested in, in you know, playing a game or something, then let me know. I mean, if, if you are out there and you have a server running and you run a particular game that you know I may like or I play, then let me know. You know, I'm, I'm sort of my own here. I don't know anybody playing anything at the moment. So much so, actually, I've been playing um, Project Zomboid, which, again, some of you will just say, what the hell is that? It's an old kind of alpha game that was created years ago. It's kind of famous in the zeitgeist of gaming for how not to to do development because the developers are obviously very clever guys but what they actually went and did was um, they left all of their development of the game on a laptop that then they got broken into and was stolen in that they developed it at home by the way there's three of them and it kind of was a wonderful kind of facepalm moment of oh my god did you really do that so I've been playing that game with the Hydrocraft mod which is something that um, I'd recommend you go and check out if you like crafting and zombie barricading turtling root looting kind of games with a bit of crafting it's not bad it's isometric so it's not graphically wonderful but um, it's probably the hardest game in the world because you have one life and if you die that's it you start again it's completely you know that's it your character's dead um, it's harsher than anything and it's one of these things where if you're bitten it's game over if you're scratched there's a very high chance it's game over so you know there's a high chance of infection across the board so I've been playing that. I quite like it. Um, I might do a video of it. I'm not entirely sure. This whole video thing, I think I've just kind of sat on the sidelines for a while. I've been watching uh, a guy called Nomis. He's a guy who does U uh, well, he's a YouTuber, obviously. He does, um, I guess he plays a lot of different stuff. I only really watch his Project Zomboid stuff just because it's pretty good. And he, he's one of these people that I think he played Project Zomboid every day for a year and did a video every day for a year. It's a, <laughs> it's a hell of a hell of a testament and a commitment to do that. So um, it certainly beats my kind of dust video a day because dust is a lot easier to do than I think projects on board. So anyway, there we go. I think, yeah, if you're interested in that, check that out. Otherwise, post the comments tell me what is coming that maybe is of interest. Um, we are going to carry on Space Engineers at some point. I must confess I've completely lost track of everything at the moment. It kind of happens. It's one of these things, right, where... I never thought ever that I'd be in a position where, you know, you could say to yourself, well, you know, 
don't have to work too hard from this point forward. You could maybe do something a bit less stressful and I could maybe do YouTube a bit more. But then you kind of think to yourself, God, I love money. Don't you love money? Isn't money a wonderful, wonderful thing? Kind of when you get a big wad of money and you just rub it all over your naked body. Is that just me? Maybe not. But I just think there's <laughs> something very alluring about the fact that, yeah, I do work my ass off for my job and part of me quite enjoys it. But there is this feeling of, do you know what, if, if you could do something like YouTube full time, would you? And I've got to admit, with all of the YouTubers dropping dead right now from sedentary diseases like heart attacks and bowel cancer and all these horrendous things, it does make me think that actually it's probably not the best, well, it's certainly not the best um, you know, healthy thing to do. So I think that kind of puts me off it as well. So I don't know. I think a lot of the time I'm, I've never really done YouTube for anything more than just a creative outlet. And um, I do miss it. So I think maybe we will do a few more videos. So post in the comments, tell me what we should be playing. That's about it. I mean, to be honest with you, you know, I love this game, Dust. I really do miss it. Uh, post in the comments if you want to see some more stuff. I will do, and I did promise to do this, but I haven't got around to it yet, a kind of goodbye Dust montage. Because I used to do a year in Dust. So I did every year. I did the end of the year. It was literally over Christmas. I would do a video that just said, this is what happened in Dust this year. And it was always quite funny, irreverent kind of look at the game. And I always promised myself it would be nice to finish that with a trilogy because there's two at the moment. I think it's 19, uh, 19, 19, 2014, 2015, I think. I could be wrong. Um, and it would be nice to end it with a, a kind of thing to say, well, that's it. You know, the game is over now. Um, here's the story of this game in a trilogy of about an hour. You know, that would be quite nice. Um, if for me, that would feel like a nice thing to do. So quite attempted to do that if only I could get the time I think this is always the problem of when you do these things it's never it's never easy to get the time to just sit down and do this waffling bollocks that we do there we go post the comments um, I'm still amazed so many people are subscribed I, I do wonder if um, people just literally run the hell away but um, yeah I think with dust you know it's one of these things you're obviously watching this video because it is a dust video so you know post in the comments did you enjoy it was it too much pain to see the game knowing that you can't really log on and go and play it again post in the comments and let me know I think I'm quite curious to uh, to see what direction you guys would like me to take and I'm quite happy for piss off Pyrex never want to hear you again unsubscribe in which case I'll go and weep into my little beard and I'll sit there quite happily because uh, quite frankly I don't mind if we don't do this again either I think really you know if people want me to do it I'll do it if they don't fine I, I, I can handle rejection I'm used to it I'm used to it so there we go I think it's a funny old world, right? Where you just don't know where what's gonna happen. With Brexit happening, that's a big deal for the UK. If you have no idea what Brexit is, Google it. And um, I just think at this sort of time, you know, sometimes it's nice just to go back to what you remember being a bit of a comfort blanket. And for me, it was Dust514. Hope you enjoyed that. Maybe see you next time.